Welcome to the What's New in ForteWeb video. In this video, you'll learn about the latest additions to ForteWeb, design wall members, apply wind loading to wall members, design members using commercial loading, report damage, and share ideas. Let's start with wall members and wind loading. Now, when you go to add a member to your job, you will see two new wall member types, studs and columns. Click on the icon to add a stud or column to your job. Like posts, studs and columns are vertical member types, so you will see the Height and Supports tab. In this tab, you specify the height of the stud or column, along with information about the wall that the member is in and any bracing. Once you have defined the height and support information, you will input loads in the Loads tab. Like other member types, you will enter load magnitudes into the vertical loads grid. But new for wall members, like headers, studs, and columns, you will see the lateral loads grid. For studs and columns, the system automatically applies wind loading to the member, while for headers, you must manually add the wind load. The wind load applied is calculated based on the wind load settings you specify in the wind loading tab, which is visible when you select the job in the job tree. Pick your risk category and specify your basic wind speed. If you don't know these, click on the picture of the wind zone maps to open help. The settings on the Level Properties tab are also considered when calculating the wind load. There, you pick your exposure category and specify your mean roof height. Now that you've got your wind loading set up, you can select the wall member and move on to product selection and design. The Solutions tab works the same as for other members. You'll see the design results for the selected solution and you can pick a different one. Then, select the Report tab to see the detailed design information for the selected product in the report. On this tab, you pick your lateral connections and print the report. Next, let's check out commercial loading. When you add a level, before you add any members, you will be able to select the building class. Previously, the only option was residential, but now you'll see commercial too. When you select commercial, floor joists or floor flush beams within the level will have the option to include a concentrated live load check. You can specify the magnitude of that concentrated live load on the loads tab for these member types and whether to combine this load with any of the other loads applied to the member. Also, in the settings, you'll be able to set up commercial quick loads including concentrated live load magnitudes and partition loads. If you have commercial loads you apply often, add them to this list and then you can quickly add them to members using the Quick Loads tool. Now let's look at reporting damage. If a member gets damaged in the field, you're already able to check if the member can handle the notch or hole using the Location Analysis or Holes tab. But now, if that member fails, you can send a report to our technical support team about the damage. Select Report Damage from the Help menu and enter information about the damage and project location. The request, along with a copy of your Forte Web job, is sent to our team, so we can help identify an appropriate solution. Finally, let's see how you can share ideas for Forte Web. You can now submit ideas for how to make Forte Web better. Go to the Help menu and select Got an Idea from the list of options. You will be directed to the Ideas page for Forte Web, where you can share new ideas, vote on previously submitted ideas, or add a comment to any idea in the list. Once an idea is added, it will be reviewed and posted to the Ideas page for others to see. To learn more about Forte Web, go to Forte Web Help or start a chat with our support team. You can also check out our Warehouser Software YouTube channel to see more What's New videos for Forte Web Software. We hope you'll take advantage of the exciting new features in Forte Web. Thank you for choosing Warehouser Software.